Echo will be live today and will be the last hero to be released in Overwatch. Um, that's something that sounds like a sad statement for some and some others is kind of like, eh. Um, essentially, what Jeff Kaplan, our lord and savior, has said is that instead of releasing one hero and one hero and so on, they will instead of wait for the release of Overwatch 2, and when that releases, they have kind of stockpiled a group of heroes that can be four, five, even more. And the whole point is then that when Overwatch 2 is released, you get a brand new hero pool with new and exciting heroes, new maps, game modes, of course, the co-op versus AI, where it has all these kind of weird and slightly overpowered uh, variations on the abilities. And generally, therefore, hopefully rejuvenate and make Overwatch a new game. That's the point of Overwatch 2, and that is what is going on right now. But the release of a game like Valorant is something that also got a lot of people kind of nervous. So let's talk about the future of Overwatch. Now, hello there, my beautiful, lovely gamers. As always, my name is Jonal, and of course, a like on the video helps again to subscribe and help promote the video, spread it out, kind of break through uh, all the suppression and all the weird stuff that's happening here on YouTube. Same goes with a comment. Are you excited for Overwatch 2, and how do you feel Overwatch slash Overwatch 2 will be doing up against something like Valorant? Have you played it? What do you think of from gameplay and so on? I would like to hear the opinions from other people than, of course, just myself. So, comment section, of course, subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. It's very much appreciated. Together with a Discord server, which is linked down in the description, where you also can hire me as a private coach. Doesn't matter if you bronze top 500. As long as you can get a bot to me, I can help you rank up, improve, and get better at the game. It's 50 euros for a two hour session. Hit me up on a Discord server down below. Now, Valorant is Riot's new FPS. It's a tactical FPS with hero mechanics or at least hero-ish shooter mechanics and a lot of people have been um, spouting that this is a death for watch there was a, ba a wave a very large wave right before the close beta release with a lot of pros calling out the retirements um, and in general a lot of people seem to be a bit nervous about the future state in overwatch now valorant is very different and the release of a lot of players of them leaving their teams quitting stopping their professional career um, has a numerous amount of factors. Valorant is, in my opinion, not a direct competitor with a game like Overwatch. The games are significantly different. They are not, in my personal opinion, somebody has played the game since the release of the close beta and coaches professionally in Overwatch and contenders, the games are not remotely the same. Yes, they both have hero-ish abilities, but... In Overwatch, the hero abilities and the way that it's kind of built and the fact that it's respawning, you can change the abilities. You can, well, you can just heroes. Um, there's re faster respawns. The ability is also far more centered. And the fact that there are 200 HP tanks, no, well, 600 HP tanks, 200 HP heroes, shields, all this kind of stuff, and the way that ultimate have an impact on the match, it is far different from Valorant, which is a slower style, more tactical FPS, 1 HP die, spray patterns which you need to control kind of like counter-strike and then there are some abilities but these abilities are far more just a mix-up or a complement to the gunplay uh, compared to Overwatch where the abilities are far more centered around being a part of the gunplay itself or and, and the hero kit and how you play it. Uh, it's not used to, just to complement uh, the gunplay itself, it's there to complement the gameplay and be a part of the gunplay um, which is not the same as Valorant's and therefore in my opinion they do not overlap demographically but that doesn't mean that if you don't like Overwatch you don't like Valorant I fucking love Valorant and I love Overwatch and it's two games that I have a very big passion for and that I just love playing so that doesn't mean that you can't like Overwatch and you can't like Valorant but they are very different games that tap in to very different markets now the release of pro players was a thing that has happened and kind of been building up for a while I know personally a lot of professionals that quit uh, during that wave or have been thinking about quitting and a lot of it comes down to this a lot of people that like, did it in in contenders or even in uh, tier 3 scene in the higher tier so branches of tier 3 scene which is where we see a lot of them quit because well they have played Overwatch since the release or for a very long time 
The same goes with uh, other professional players. For example, Taimu, which quit, um, which quit now professional Overwatch, a previous player for the Dallas Field, went over to Envy, NVS, and then now quit. And of course, seeing veterans quit a game is not fun. But I, in my opinion, a lot of the things that has happened and a lot of the conversations that I've had with professionals and well, I would say ex-professionals now. It ends up a lot of time on the same tone, and that is that, you know, the game is something that they have played for so long that, and not just played, like you have to understand the amount of hours that you put into to this game if you're a professional, um, it, it, it is beyond what normal people would do. It is not, oh, I played Overwatch since the release because I play like a couple of ranked games a day. This is like, since the release of the game, some of these players have been swimming 8 to 12 hours. Playing the game 8 to 12 hours a day. Around the average. And yes, then after a while, you will get tired of the game. You will get tired of the same mechanics, or there will be changes to... Because it, it is this constant dilemma that if they don't change the game, the game is too stagnant. That the game is too boring and there's no innovation. If they change the game, the game is not the same as it used to be. The game is, an, you know, and it's this kind of way that people seems to get frustrated. I've private coached so many individuals that that is like, oh, I don't think that Genji is good anymore. He's so bad and he's been bad, which is not even remotely true. And he's in, in a lot of the matters that are going, going on right now. Genji is very, very strong, and you can play him much easier than what you could before. But the mentality is that, oh, this is how Overwatch is now, or Overwatch is bad, this hero is good. There's still so many people that think Moira is like an OP DPS support that's just insane. Uh, even though she has been going through a bunch of nerfs. And the only thing that's really good with Moira is her fade and her coalescence. And her primary fight is not remotely as good. And she's not as remotely difficult to, to try to fight as before. There's still people that complain that Brig is in the game. Even though Brig has been highly nerfed multiple times. And is actually pretty balanced right now. Um, that is, in my opinion, what is going on in the Overwatch scene. I don't think it will die. I don't think it will be at its peak again. Uh, it might get a pretty big resurgence around Overwatch 2. And that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm hoping. And I hope that Overwatch 2 will introduce cool new mechanics, game modes, heroes. Generally, I think that that game will blow a lot of life into people that quit Overwatch. Because it will give this like fresh, new kind of way. It is not the old thing that just got a patch. It is a brand new thing um, that they have had time to develop over a long period of time. And I think that sounds, in my opinion, really, really good. Um, and I would like to see that. But I don't think that Overwatch will hit its peak again. Because that's the whole point of having a peak. Is that there's a, it's very, very difficult and it's very rare in video games that you will see somebody regain their peak. However, and this is the important part that I'm trying to say. And this is especially something that I talk with when I talk to people about you know the Twitch numbers from Overwatch. Which has been low for a very long time because Overwatch is not a very good game to stream. It's not as entertainment as other games to stream because of the constant uptime. There's not that much downtime um, comparatively. And as I try to say to, you know, when people have been talking about the low Twitch number, is that Overwatch does not need, and your game that you play and that you enjoy, that you are having fun with and that we are playing competitively and, and so on, does not need to be number one on Twitch. It does not need to be the biggest game in the fucking world for it to have a good, healthy scene with good with, with a good, healthy community and good players with constant updates. The day that you will the day that I will call Overwatch die is the day that the dev team stops patching the game, stops adding new heroes and developing. And I think that the that the speed that they are doing, especially now that they're translating into Overwatch 2, is completely acceptable. And I think the dev team is so much better than what they were and has improved and has shown. And again, I played this game since the beta. And from a competitive player's perspective, both somebody that loves this game casually as a content creator, as somebody that loves this playing this in ranked, playing this with friends, and also somebody that loves this from a competitive standpoint of professional scrims and tournaments as a coach and also as a guy that used to play this myself competitively. They are The dev team has just improved and continuously improving on, in my opinion, good balance changes. And they have just started changing their philosophy 
of the, instead of having these slow methodical patch notes, having a far more reaction based patch notes where they essentially would spice up the game and change it. Um, I think that Overwatch is in a good spot. Uh, and especially when the release of Overwatch 2 becomes out, I think it will be even better than what it was. Um, uh, what it currently is because I think there will be a, a brand new kind of fresh uh, brief of air and of course you can bang your bang your buck you can bet you can bet that's the sentence you can bet that I will be here on release on our watch too I'm um, talking about I'm breaking down stuff um, that is my opinion about the future of our watch I think that a lot of the hate a lot of the it's dying and so on that you've been hearing for a while and oh pro players are leaving is not a bad sign. This happens in every single fucking esport, in every single game. Player numbers drop off, and then the community immediately starts screaming and crying because, oh, the game is dying. People quit the game because they're tired of playing the same game over and over again because that happens. When you hear people go on YouTube say, oh, I used to love Overwatch. I used to play 11 hours a day. It's like, yes, of course you get burned out when you play 11 hours a day. I get burned out if I play Overwatch for 11 hours a day. It's insane if you play that amount of hours into a game. In the end, it will become repetitive. And even with new changes and whatnot is introduced, which in my opinion just actually spices up stuff and does change stuff. And that doesn't mean that every single meta is perfect. But no video game I have seen that has a healthy competitive scene has had um, you know, changes to the balance uh, that has spice of stuff and not had any that was really 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 bad so that is again that is in, in my opinion the future of Overwatch that it's gonna be in my opinion really really good it's over it's still really really good community still there everybody still has still having a blast and if not then at least there will be a rejuvenation in my opinion when Overwatch 2 comes out with a wave of new heroes a wave of new content and hopefully a very, very active dev team. And I can't wait till that happens. Uh, in my opinion, that's going to be super, super fun. And, well, I hope I'll see you guys there on the channel. Subscribe, like, comment, potato. If you made it to this part of the video, I expect that nobody did. Uh, but uh, if I see you commenting potato, I will know and I will heart that comment. Of course, thank you for the support. I love you guys very, very much. As always, my name is Ben Journal. Please take care. Stay positive. Stay inside. Wash your hands. Stay safe. Please do stay safe. Because I love you guys very, very much. As always, keep the enemy in your process.